<laughs> so what are your thoughts on cosmic in the state it's currently in because i you know i've been going back to yeah. my streams every you know couple of weeks every month when the new alphas come out and things have been getting better there have been mm -hmm. new weird esoteric bugs but what i've noticed is going from the early alphas to where we are now it's getting harder and harder to find the bugs because early on yeah you could find some real simple ones that just you know, you would run into if you were just casually using Cosmic. Now mm -hmm. it's becoming a lot of things where you have to intentionally do something stupid for something to appear, which makes sense, right? Because the developer yeah. who's working on it, they're going to test it in a way that they assume someone is going to use it. And if you mm -hmm. do something the developer doesn't even think that you can do, it's very possible there's a bug there. Um, like, uh, one of the things that I, I reported the other week is... I think someone else has already reported it, but doesn't matter. Um, if you opened up that side menu that had the um, like the icon settings, if you didn't yeah. like in the in the settings menu, if you didn't close that and then clicked on an option in the sidebar to like go to another part of the settings, that like window would stay open um, and mm. would just sit over something else, right? Like it, they expect you to close it first and then go yeah. to it. Um, but there's just things like that, or uh, I think it's when you press Super X, if you drag a window, the desktop just crashes, which is fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely fall into that trap of when I have my workflow on a certain desktop environment, I don't switch from it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I think as Cosmic was being brought up since I was using it in its earliest phase, I have like a very specific workflow when it comes to Cosmic that uh, is basically bug free. Uh, there was uh, that AMD freezing bug, though, that, that caught me, uh, you know, where uh, if you, like, maximize a window, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the whole thing will just freeze. Uh, and that's uh, unfortunately still a problem. Uh, I've had people coming to me like, oh, how do I fix that? Uh, there's a uh, environment variable to mm -hmm. disable direct scan out, which is yeah. what I've uh, pointed people uh to. Um, cosmic underscore disable underscore direct underscore, uh, underscore scan out equals one is what yeah. you want to set. Mm -hmm. yep. I think uh, it's on the so, Arch Wiki, if I recall correctly. Maybe. The Arch Wiki is a great resource, I swear. <laughs> even even as a Fedora user, I use Arch Wiki all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the things I heavily respect about Arch, uh, is that everybody's put together this huge knowledge base of mm -hmm. like, Oh, you have this problem. Uh, do this. Uh, mm -hmm. and most most of the time, it'll work across distros uh, with you know some modifications. Like if it if it requires you to install a, a AUR package, you you might have to look for a copper or you know if it's in official Fedora repos. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. But so, um, what are you uh, saying about our workflow set? Like that's the, that's the reason why I do the streams. It's so I can have you know a bunch of people telling me like, hey, try this out, see what happens, and just. Mm -hmm. A bunch of different workflows all coming together, or just people who you know enjoy breaking things. They want to. Yeah. They they came across a bug themselves, or they limit tested something, and you know want to show that it's actually a bug. Just getting all those voices together to try to work out what the problems are. Like that's how you can actually make things improve because you can write tests and you can test things yourself. Yeah. But unless you know, unless you know what bugs you're looking for, it's going to be hard to find the bugs. Right, yeah, and so bringing those to the developers who, uh, you know, they have their workflows, they don't know what's going on, uh, mm. that's definitely caused a rapid shift in the quality of Cosmic, um, especially it, like once I do the appreciate a lot of other people out. have like, I, I sorry, I do appreciate a lot of other people have also started like reporting bugs as well, because I remember uh, like mm -hmm. early on with the alphas, you would see like. 10 bug reports in a row from me and there'd be nothing else there from a lot of other yeah. people but it, it seems like as the alphas have been progressing there's been a lot more people involved in like tr not even just like trying to break it but just trying out cosmic yeah yeah it, it showed people that it's in a state where they're ready to at least present it to power users mm -hmm. and uh i i don't know when the beta is going to be but i imagine that'll also bring up a lot more bugs uh there'll be people who expect uh, full release quality at that point and they'll go mm -hmm, in and mm -hmm. find some bugs and honestly uh i think that's a great way uh i don't, I don't know that <laughs> forget about it uh i lost my train of thought but, so um my understanding is carl seems to think 
uh i think he was saying like march full release which is uh-huh. so insanely aggressive i don't buy it yeah no. <laughs> uh sorry carl uh and i i know that they've pushed deadlines back before mm-hmm. uh so i i imagine they'll probably do something like that again uh i know that there have been people asking in the uh in the pop os chat like uh when is the first beta coming out? And they're like, well, there will at least be an Alpha 6. But at this point, uh, once we have Alpha 6, it's already February. So uh, yeah. that March timeline is looking non-existent. No. At this and point. there's no way they're doing a be- just a single beta. There will be at least a beta yeah. too. Oh, yeah. And uh, that does make me kind of worry a little bit for the Fedora spin. Uh, but I, I noted in the change proposal that I'd still like to uh, consider moving forward, even with it being in beta potentially but uh we'll have to see how that goes uh i don't think anybody would would mind if uh we updated to stable uh as soon as that came out in fedora 42 mm-hmm. so uh uh we could we could release initially with beta and then maybe provide an upgrade there <laughs> assuming beta is stable enough for like the install and the initial you know setup and all that Right, because you made you made another good point there yeah. about beta, where people are going to assume it's stable, so there's going to be a lot more people that try it, and with more people yeah. trying it, that's going to be more weird, weird setups that people are using, weird use cases people have, and mm-hmm. yeah, like um, one of the things I I <laughs> I ran across was really dumb is you can in the in the panel settings you can drag the I don't I, maybe they fixed it now you could drag the panel icons out of the window and they just were they were just gone they were still in the panel but uh, they wouldn't come back until you reloaded it or because oh. um the, the also the, the the panel um the panel applet is a file manager i, I reported this bug this is a mm-hmm. fun one yeah so if, if you drag yeah. a if you drag an applet into your browser it tries to download the desktop file connected to the applet <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh that is something i've uh, I remember uh, for a long time they were working on drag and drop. That's mm-hmm. like a, a huge feature that took them months. Uh, I imagine there, that there's a whole slew of bugs with it. Uh, yeah, the desktop is a drop this, target. <laughs> yeah, desktop's a drop target. App tray is a drop target. Um, the uh, Obviously, the uh, applet settings are as well. Mm-hmm. Um, i trying to think if there are any other drop targets in Cosmic that I know of. Um, well, you know what's not I mean, a drop Cosmic target? Files, but what? The media player. You can't drop things in the media player. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, that was another thing. Uh, whenever whenever Alpha 5 came out and Jeremy was like, Cosmic player is ready to be packaged. I was <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> this It doesn't look like it's ready yet. It uh, builds. It I, works. You can play yeah, videos. Yeah, it builds. You can play videos. Uh, is the experience really quality? Uh, I don't think so. I... I need to uh, double check this, but I think uh, the media controls weren't even finished at that time. Like, I think it just had play, but I may be wrong about that. It uh, had them when I tested it, so they might have added it in later commits. Yeah, they did do a a five point one release uh, because mm-hmm. they found they found a bunch of uh, memory leak problems that yeah. they were able to fix. Well, also, um, um, Cosmic was just using way too much memory. From my understanding, there was some issue with Iced, where mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know the specifics, but it was using like double the amount of memory it should have been using, which yeah, was very nice. Uh, I know that some of that uh, was in Cosmic Text, which mm-hmm. uh, I think it's interesting. It's like one of their biggest projects on their entire organization, mm-hmm. and it's used by more than just Iced. It's used by, like, I think Zed used it for a time. I don't know if they've switched recently, but uh, I think uh, Bevy used it for a bit mm-hmm. uh, for their re- text rendering. But uh, it was always interesting to me that uh, out of all the things uh, System76 has made, that that ended up being the most popular uh, like product that they make, mm-hmm. uh, at least uh, on that on their organization. Uh, but yeah, they fixed a memory a memory issue with that and ended up just updating every cosmic app and then they're like all right we're putting out a new release this was uh you know a really good thing to add uh worthy of a release well i think that that tag release also fixed the um iced window resizing where if you resize the window it would resize at like three fps 
Oh yeah, uh, they had to like throttle resizing, mm -hmm. uh, and then they implemented some other uh, tricks that came from Neri, I believe. Um, so we actually uh, take quite a bit of uh, inspiration from Neri. I remember whenever I was working on the uh, touchpad gestures, um, mm -hmm. Draculix just said, uh, "Ask uh, Yalter, who's <laughs> the developer of Neri, ask ask him, ask them, I guess, ask them if uh, we can use their like animation for workspace switching." Uh, and it's kind of funny. It was a a chain of inspiration. It was uh, we got inspired by Neri, which actually got those animations from Gnome, which I believe got inspiration from some other project that I can't remember for the life of me. But I just thought it was funny at the time that we mm. had like a four four simultaneous implementations of the same workspace switching animation. So if Cosmic's workspace switching ever seems like Gnome, that's because it is. <laughs> Yeah, um, for better or worse, there's a few issues that I've noticed that are kind of gnome-y. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I've uh, like, the, the, um, there's a few issues with the, the way dynamic workspaces spawn, which are a problem. Uh, like, I've reported all of these problems where sometimes they just don't delete themselves or, uh, you mm -hmm. can get them to spawn in ways that shouldn't happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I... <laughs> I think I reported one a while back. Um, if you just start the session, uh, it has really weird behavior with the dynamic workspace. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, you're supposed to have like two workspaces at the time, uh, your main one and then the extra one. But because there's no windows in the first workspace, it doesn't like initialize the second one properly. Mm -hmm. And in order to get to that workspace, you actually have to swipe the opposite direction for some reason. I don't know why, okay. but uh, that was that was how it was at the time, and I think it's still the case. Uh, but I'd have to go back and test. There was also uh, an issue that I actually knew about when I was making the initial PR for the workspace gestures, where if you kind of spam the gesture over and over, mm -hmm. the workspace will like jump back and forth uh, <laughs> instead of actually moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think that was deemed a blocker for the initial PR because it was already significantly better than not having those right and that was back in like april of last year so it was before they even had the alpha and i think you know there are priorities and they didn't really make that a priority to fix it but yeah yeah uh you can still do that so if you just I... spam the uh the gesture i don't know if this is still a problem but last time i checked um if you open the window overview and then click on the empty workspace and then open the window of view again, you'll have an extra workspace, and you can just keep clicking on the final <laughs> one and just making new ones, but because they're not... Yeah. They don't have windows on them. So what, what I think is happening is it's treating the window overview as a window, so it spawns mm -hmm. an additional workspace after it, because I know it treats the launcher as a window. There's a few things that yeah. shouldn't be treated like windows that do that cause an extra workspace to be spawned. So I think that's what's happening but because there's no window on there after you go back to it if you swap to that workspace it realizes there's no uh, workspace there so it deletes the workspace 